People are angered and concerned about traps at a popular state park after two family dogs got stuck. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell spoke with the dog's owners who say they're not only worried for family pets, but also people. Jamie Toby says it was a terrifying experience. She says her dogs are doing much better, but now she's concerned for other families who bring their pets and children down this path into this area. I said, watch for traps. There's traps. Jamie Toby says she comes to walk her dogs at Island Lake Park pretty regularly, but after her dogs both got stuck in double coil spring traps, she's now thinking twice. I have two of my dogs in traps. They're both wailing and screaming. Her dogs are doing much better, more so frightened than anything else. Toby says her concern isn't just for family pets, but also children who play in the area. I have been out here, like I said, 15 years. I've never been afraid and I am scared to death now for my dogs, for children. The incident happened in the area north of McCabe Road in Green Oak Township. That's open to hunting and trapping. A fence is around the property, but there is an opening for people to get in. Jamie says she had no idea it was a hunting property. And I never, ever knew that there was traps out here. I never, ever envisioned that that any that they were hunting out here like with traps. Trappers wanting to put a trap on state land need to have their name and a Michigan Department of Natural Resources ID number on the trap. The DNR says traps are perfectly legal and coyote hunting is allowed year round on state land. But Jamie says there should be signs telling people it's hunting property and warning them about the dangers. We need some warnings out here. We really do because um, I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Jamie says she won't be letting her dogs off a leash anytime soon while taking them out for a walk and she's now planning on taking them somewhere else. Reporting in Green Oak Township, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.